But first, uh, the divine liturgy of Basil the Great, we have uh, what is celebrated today. So, our attention goes to the tomb, and also we focus our attention on the first sign of resurrection, because today we will read the nice gospel of the resurrection of our Lord. And we continue to pray for all of you, especially all prisoners of our First, and uh, after the reading of uh, the gospel, we also will transform ourselves. Will be a little passage from dark color of our vestments to the bright color, from the darkness to the light, from Old Testament to New Testament, from death to life. And uh, today also we will enjoy this time praying.
and flaming fires your attendance. Wondrous are your works, O Lord. Wondrous are your works. The sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness and it is night. Wondrous are your works, O Lord. Wondrous are your works. Men will go in his works. Wondrous are your works, O Lord. Wondrous are your works. How great are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have brought them Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. of my supplication when I cry out to you hear me O Lord let my prayer rise like incense before you and the lifting up of my like an evening sacrifice.
Incline my heart away from evil dealings, from finding excuses for sinful deeds. In company with those who work iniquity, let me not partake of what they choose. May the just chasten me with justice and reprove me. May the oil of the wicked never touch my head. Yet even then shall I pray for their welfare. Their rulers were swallowed near the rock. My words shall be heard, for they were sweet as a lump of clay broken on the ground. So their bones were strewn near the grave. To you, Lord, O Lord, my eyes are lifted up. In you have I hoped. Let not my soul be lost. Keep me from the snare that was set for me and from the stumbling blocks of the wicked. The wicked shall fall into their own nets while I remain alone until I can escape. With my voice I cry to the Lord. With all my voice I implore the Lord. Before him I pour out my supplication. Before him I declare my distress. When my breath was escaping me, then you knew my paths. On the road upon which I was walking, they set up snares for me. I looked to my right and observed there was no one friendly to me. Even flight was denied me. There was no one to take care of my life. I cried to you, O Lord, and said, You are my hope, my share in the land of the living. Listen to my supplication, for I am laid very low. Deliver me from my oppressors, for they have overwhelmed me. Lead my soul forth from prison, that I may give thanks to your name. Out of the depths the just shall gather around me when you have been good to me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Accept our evening prayer, O Holy Lord, and grant us forgiveness of sins. For you alone manifested the resurrection to the world. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my prayer. Oh, you people, walk around Zion and encompass her. iniquities, O Lord, who can stand but with you is forgiveness. Come, you people, praise and worship Christ. Glorify his resurrection from the dead. For he is our God who has delivered the world from the deceit of the waited for you as you have commanded my soul patiently relies on your promise for it has trusted in the Lord oh Christ by your passion we have been freed from passions and by your resurrection we have been delivered from corruption oh From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. Today, Hanes groans and cries aloud. It would have been better for me had I not accepted Mary's son, for he has come to me and destroyed my power. He has shattered the gates of brass and as God he has raised up the souls that I once held. Glory to your cross and resurrection, O Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy and with him there is plentiful redemption and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Today Hades groans and cries for me had I not accepted Mary's son, for he has come to me and destroyed my power. He has shattered the gates of brass, and as God he has raised up the souls that I once held. Glory 
to your cross and resurrection, O Lord. Praise the Lord, all you nations, proclaim his glory, all you people. Today, Hades groans and cries aloud, my power is destroyed. I accepted a mortal as one. and he has raised Adam. I am deprived of those whom once I ruled. In my strength I devoured them, but now I have cast them forth. He who was crucified has emptied the tombs. The power of death has no more strength. Glory to your cross and resurrection, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Virgin Mary. Glory of the whole world. She was herself formed by human seed, yet she became the mother of the Master. The gates of heaven, the theme of the angels, him, and the beauty of the faithful. She was seen as being heavenly in the tabernacle of the Godhead. She indeed tore down the wall of enmity between God and man and brought peace in its place. She opened the kingdom of heaven. Let us therefore cling fast to her, for she is the anchor of faith. And be of good cheer then, and have confidence, O people of God, for he will fight our enemies for us. He is all powerful.
the Lord, for gloriously has he been glorified. The Lord shivers forth, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh on his power, he drew into the sea, and he shoes an officers and horsemen. He draw in the Red Sea, the floods covered them, they plumb into the depths like a small. Glory. 
exalt him throughout all the ages. Praise the Lord and exalt him through all ages. Praise the Lord and exalt him throughout all the ages. the Lord, all you words of the Lord. Let the Lord, you angels of the Lord, and you heavens of the Lord. Praise the Lord and exalt Like the aromatic incense, we 
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. You have put on Christ.
the foundations of the earth shall be shaken. I said you are gods and sons of the Most High, but as for you, as men do you die, and as one of the princes do you fall. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. God stands in the assembly of the gods. In their midst he will judge the gods. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. How long will you judge unfairly and favor the cause of the sinners? Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. Give justice to the orphan and the poor, be fair to the humble and the needy. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. Rescue the poor and the needy, and deliver them from the hand of the sinner. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the known nor understood, in darkness do they walk about. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. All the found out foundations of the earth shall be shaken. I said you are gods and sons of the Most High, but as for you, as men do you die, and as one of the princes do you fall. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. God stands in the assembly of the gods, in their midst he will judge the gods. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. How long will you judge unfairly and favor the cause of the sinners? Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. Give justice to the orphan and the poor, be fair to the humble and the needy. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, the needy and the poor, and deliver them from the hand of the sinner. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. They, <coughs> they have not known nor understood, in darkness do they walk about. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. All the foundations of the earth shall be shaken. I said you are gods and sons of the Most High, 
But as for men, as do you die, and as one of the princes do you fall? Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the Thank you. 
Descending to him means that he goes to search Adam. Adam represents for us entire humanity. Adam, Adam, he sits in this darkness, in this hole, covered with shame, sin, and darkness. In Jesus Christ, his light, his life, he goes to bring Adam, entire humanity, to light and to life. He 
Plus, even this too is empty, but outward, he feels this that emptiness is his life, new life. So he takes, he grasps the hand of Adam on this icon, and he takes into me. We pass over from darkness to light. The passage through the Red Sea, a type of Baptist, and today's service remind us about our baptism, especially before we read the gospel, we were these red vestments, dark vestments. But now, what kind of transformation happened to us? We changed not only color, but we changed our existence, our being. Because God recreated us not just from nothingness, but also from our weakness, from our sinfulness. And that passage through the Red Sea, a type of baptism, the passage from slavery in Egypt to freedom, at nativity of our Lord, we said that at this feast, He brought us freedom. And eternity. But now he does, he does, he's active, he brings us, he transforms us. The passage from old covenant to the new covenant in the person of Christ. And everything what we read in the Old Testament, this is about Christ because he's preparing us for this great great event, his incarnation, but also incarnation include suffering, death, crucifixion, and resurrection, because we cannot destroy life. Life cannot die. The passage from darkness to light and the passage from death to life in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is final passage. This is our Passover from death to life. But what kind of life? Life in Christ, new life. That new life has time fullness he fills us with himself and he transforms us through himself so our human being now is completely changed completely transformed completely resurrected And uh, celebrating this event, his death and resurrection, because today in the ancient church, they had thousands and thousands of baptisms. Because catechumens, they came to the baptisterium and they were baptized. And after baptism, they walked, they were allowed for the first time to be in the church and accept our Lord Jesus Christ. For the first time they were present at Divine Liturgy. So, today's service, today's Vespers, 
and divine liturgy of Isaac the Great, prepare us also for the resurrection. Don't be surprised if on the end of this service I will tell you Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. We have to answer that because tomb is empty, but that tomb is filled with his life. Our sinfulness, our brokenness, is filled with grace of God, life of God. We are changed, we are transformed. If we use our faith, if we use our baptism, if we go into the direction to the resurrection, we are saved. We are alive. And this is what we have to do every day. I said that uh, probably this service is very neglected in our church because we focus on, on food, Easter basket. We worry, what, we worry about what we will eat, about bread, you know, cheese, kielbasa, meat, all this stuff. But our Lord invites us not just to celebrate with body, but also He invites us to be present with Him here in His holy temple and uh, share with Him His resurrection Because we have to use not only our body, but also our feelings, our desires. We have to be immersed today in the Lord. And this is what we do during the baptism. We are immersed in the water of baptism. We are changed and we come to new life. New life. New light. We come from nothingness into being because of the resurrection of the Lord. But also, we have to remember about His suffering and death and burial because. Death and resurrection, they always connected. But wearing this uh, white vestments, we on the road to celebrate his resurrection. Because already we read this beautiful gospel. Jesus Christ appeared to his disciples, to his uh, to this woman, women, who came to, to see him. And he will appear to us right now, today. And uh, we have to walk with faith and tell to all world that we were baptized in his death and resurrection, but we alive because died for us and he raised for us and we have to spread this good news to the entire world this is what we have to do especially today and let us keep in mind that most important thing in our life to celebrate every day death and resurrection we have to die to sin but we have to live for the Lord every minute of our life in the name of the Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Christ is risen indeed he is risen Lord have mercy.
and that is why you're putting the glory. We may offer you a sacrifice of praise. For it is you who accomplish all things in all for of us. Lord, grant that our sacrifice for our sins and for the sins of ignorance of the people may be acceptable and pleasing to your Son. For God, in your mercy and compassion, you have visited our loneliness. You have placed us, your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants, in the presence of your holy glory for the service of your holy Lord. By the power of your Holy Spirit, strengthen us from this service. Enable us to say the proper words as we invoke the grace of the Holy Spirit upon the gifts about, about to be offered. So that all is perfect, divine glory, may give glory to you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, many eyes share 
Pope Francis, Pope Abraham, our most blessed Christ, our most loved, Peter, King, Holy Spirit, Sikren, our most reverend Pope Gregorius, our Bishop of Philadelphia, our most reverend Pope Zama of Parma, all the priestly, deacon of the religious orders, our nation of God, our most holy military, the noble and honored to be remembered, founders, benefactors of this holy church, and all you. Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of life, true God of true God, begotten, not created, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. 
for it was not possible for the elder of life to be held by corruption. He became the first fruits of those who had fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he himself might be all and have privacy in him. He ascended to heaven and took his place at the right of your majesty of high. He will return to render the fall according to thy works. He left us memorials of his same passion. This gift which we have set forth according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death, on the night in which he handed himself over for the life of the world, he took bread into his body and pure hands, presented it to you, God the Father. He gave thanks. He blessed the bread. He sanctified it and broke it. He gave the bread to his holy disciples of us to say, God 
tears their compassion. Have mercy on them and us. Fill their homes with the necessities of life. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Support the elderly. Encourage the faint hearted. Reunite the separated. Bring back those who have strayed and unite them to your body together to your church. Free those who are bothered by unclean spirits. Accompany those who travel, who travel by sea, land, or air. Defend the widows and widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate those held hostage in the same. O oh God, remember those who stand trial, those who are in mines, in Zion, in harsh labor, and those in every kind of affliction, necessity of difficult salvation. Lord, our God, remember all in need of your great gentle hearts. Those who love us, those who hate us, those who have charged us and worked in the world, we be with the responsibility of praying for them. Remember all your people and pour out your rich mercies upon them by granting all their petitions for salvation. O oh God, remember all those who, whom we have not remembered because of our murderers, forgetfulness, or because of the multitude of names. For you know the name and age of every person. You know all of us, even from our mother's womb. For you, Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the famous stars, the haven of our Israel's the physician of the sick. Be all things to all people. You know all of us, our every person, home and need. O Lord, deliver this community of St. John, the city of Israel, and every city as well, and the other reason from humane flags, earthquakes, floods, fires, violence, rain, measure, and civil wars. And the Holy Bible, Lord, the Lord, universe, the Mount of Francis, Paul of Rome, and remember all men and all women. by according to the motive of your mercies, forgive whom my every offense by the blood of Jesus. Do not withhold the grace of your Holy Spirit from the gifts of you here because of my sins. Lord, remember the presbyter, the dear and the Christ, and every strength of clergy. Let none of us who stand above your holy altar be put to shame. Visit us with your goodness, Lord. Reveal yourself to us by faith of your rich mercies. Give us temperate and fearful weather. Send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bring forth its fruits. Put an end to sins in the church. Restrain the raging of revelations. Quickly squelch red and oppressive by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom, making us sons and daughters of light, daughters and sons of the day. Grant us your peace and love, Lord, our God, for you have given us everything. And grant that this one voice, one heart to make glory and sing the praise of your most name is the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
receive our hope for worship of your holy gifts for today as our sustenance along the road to eternal life and as an acceptable defense of the dreadful charge of the of Christ so that we also together with all the saints we have been pleased with you throughout the ages may become partakers of your eternal good things which you Lord have been Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, not cause my judgment or condemnation, but rather the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned countless times. Forgive me, O Lord. Christ is and from the
Salvation of the world and the call of 
from the dead by death he conquered death, and to those in the grave he granted life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father give the blessing. Was risen from the dead by death he conquered death, and to those in the grave he granted life. Out of love, to the praise of his most pure mother, of the holy prophet Quran, and of that of the Lord John, who shared with this, of our Father of the saints, place of the grave, Archbishop Caesarea Cappadocia, and of all the saints, will have mercy on us and save us for his good kind and loving. Christ is 